In this video, we're going to be cooking. Yes, cooking. And I know you might say, wait, isn't this a gaming channel? But guys, gamers have to eat too. So why don't we see what's on the menu? So you might be wondering, Spazania, what do I need to cook Spazania? Well, first thing, Italian sausage, about a pound. The next thing you're going to need is a can of crushed tomatoes. You really only need a 15 ounce can, but this ginormous can is the only thing the grocery store had when I went shopping. Next, you'll need a can of tomato paste. The little tiny 6 ounce can will be plenty. You're also going to want about half a diced onion for your meat sauce. Um, probably optional, but I would highly recommend. And you're just going to need some regular old spaghetti noodles. I had thin spaghetti, which I didn't even realize was the thing until I went to film this video. And then some generic seasoning that you probably already have in your kitchen. This is the face of a man who forgot to tell you that you need Alfredo sauce and had already started cooking after filming the ingredients section. You need about a can of Alfredo sauce. All right, first things first, you're going to want to get some water boiling. Okay, so then for your meat, you're gonna chop out half an onion. So the main goal here is just to have small enough pieces that they sort of disintegrate into your sauce. Um, don't judge my knife skills, please. That has to be the biggest insult to every mother in America. This game does have side quests. <laughs> See what I did there? Sides, side quest. Uh, oh yeah, also you're gonna need some Brussels sprouts. There are a lot of ways to prepare these, but this is the way that I usually do it. Chop this little nubbins off, and then what I like to do is slice them in half like that. Brussels sprouts, we're tasty, but you don't know how to cook us, so you think we're gross. All right, everything's prepped now. So we're gonna do a sausage, onions, olive oil. Remember the spices we talked about? You guessed it. Once your meat is nice and cooked, it's time for the good old crushed tomatoes. The goal here is really just to get your meat nice and covered with the crushed tomatoes. I didn't add the whole thing here because I had this ginormo hunky can, but if you bought the standard 15 ounce can, you can just go ahead and add the full thing. At this point, you're, you're gonna wanna crank down this heat so that you're not uh, burning your tomatoes. It's time for the tomato paste. It's just such a weird, it's so thick and like, so now you're just going to add your can of tomato paste and combine until it's evenly mixed. That's really all there is to this part. Water's boiling, gotta throw the pasta in. Just stamp her in half, throw her in. We're going to start our Brussels sprouts. Olive oil, regular salt, pepper, garlic powder. So the spaghetti really doesn't take very long to cook, and once it's done, you're just going to sprain it and add it to a small casserole dish. Now, the recipe calls for a food processor for the noodles, but you can just chop them up with a spoon. But you are going to want to do that because it makes it uh, casserole better. I guess that's a verb. And now the long-awaited moment where we add the Alfredo sauce. It's usually about half a can if you just bought the standard size can. We're really just looking for an even Alfredo sauce to noodle ratio, sort of. But also feel free to add as much or as little Alfredo sauce or even switch it up with real cheese if you want. Really go crazy, make the dish yours. Next, you're gonna take that glorious meat sauce that you made and just pour it right on top. You get a nice even layer. And if you have too much, you can, I've frozen this before and saved it for later. Uh, I put it in the fridge and you can use it for whatever you want. And last but not least, you're going to throw this whole thing in the oven for about 15 minutes at 400 degrees. Look, these are done now, just about, and I didn't didn't say it earlier, but these are going to, if you just do what I did and throw them with salt and pepper and a uh, little olive oil, they're going to like sizzle really fast, and that's okay, but you just got to watch them. Once they start to get crispy, you're just going to want to crank the heat down. Calm down, son. It's just a drawing, not the real thing. Well, uh, simmer for a while. So, 
Our spazania is bubbling. Boom. Big dick energy. That's on camera. Now's the part where you can just look at what you made and be extremely proud of yourself. But you're also probably hungry, so you want to eat. I'm not even mad. That's amazing. Dudes, thank you so much for watching. I had a blast making this video and I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. That being said, if you did, uh, you guys all know how YouTube works. So if you could drop a like or a subscribe on this channel or video, I would greatly appreciate it. And I also hope that you come hang out on Twitch. It's kind of a fast and loose schedule right now. But uh, if you follow the socials in the description, I am always announcing when I'm live. And you can also come join the Discord so discord server and hang out with us as well like i said i hope you guys enjoyed the video i really lo look forward to talking to you soon and uh that's it peace